Number four. The reason that bad things happen to you is because you're a dumbass. <laughs> Red Foreman. This is gonna sound weird, but I never really identified with any of the teenage characters from this show. My favorite was always Red. Man, what an awesome curmudgeon. You morons just hung vacancy signs on your asses, and my foot's looking for a room. And even though he may be harsh with his friends and family, it doesn't mean that he lacks a heart of gold. He just has a different way of showing it. Damn it! I am tired of being Santa Claus! <laughs> Steven, you get your together and you get your ass in the damn car. We're going! Now! Damn it! Okay. You are just the sweetest man alive. And he can sure show those punk kids a thing or two. So, I guess this is the way an immature, engaged high school dumbass with no car, no job, and no money trims the hedges. That was like eight burns in one sentence. An octoburn. Let's get the hell out of here. Number three. That'll be the throws of a fight. Be a nice one, nice one. Had to be the box. And then you got yours. <laughs> Mickey O'Neill from Snatch. Oh, you bastard. I fucking hate Pikes. Yeah, I heard a lot of mixed reviews among my circle when this movie first came out, and I only recently saw it after I got on this English kick after Hot Fuzz, which then the term Krusty Juggler was as abstract as Snark or Jabberwocky, until I saw this movie. I may be wrong, but Brad Pitt as Mickey just might be one. The movie basically has two simultaneous plots, one involving a stolen diamond, and the other fixed bare-knuckle boxing, which Mickey just happens to be. Mickey is my favorite character from this movie. First, you can't understand a damn word he's saying. You like ducks? Thanks. What? Yeah, ducks. Ducks. You like ducks? Oh, dogs. Sure. I like ducks. In second, he switches between being friendly, an asshole, and a badass at the drop of his crusty hat. He's instructed twice to throw a fight, but just won't do it. All he's got to do is stay down. We are fucked. So is there any wonder he snatches number three? Number two. This is number 101. Do you read me? Hello? This is the new global tactical officer number 86. What is the nature of your emergency? Number 86 from Codenamed Kids Next Door. When this show started to introduce other K&D operatives, number 86 was an instant classic. And apparently the producers thought so too, because they keep going back to her again and again. And forget Matchhead, this girl is Napalm. She's like Joe Pesci, Daffy Duck, and Ripley all rolled into one redhead bombshell. But of course she's balanced out with an equally sensitive side. Since none of you will remember what's been said here, I'd like to say something on a personal note. I, um, uh, well, I, I always thought you were kind of cute, number four. Cute enough not to be decommissioned? Not even close! By the way, these are 86's brothers and her father. It was my dad! I used to have great hair, really cool hair, and then he had to go and cut it! I don't know. My dad's gonna be awful sore if I miss breakfast. What are you doing in my house, number one? And what are you doing out of bed, Shawnee? So where the hell did she get such a strong Irish accent? Made with sugar, spice, and everything volatile. Number 86 clocks in at number two. Yeah! Here, face boy! And the number one Irish character is... Open your eyes and I'll tell you my name. Ashley. Ashley. And this is my first. 
If you watched the Academy Awards this year, you may have seen a movie called The Secret of Kells was up for an animated nomination. It's an Irish film about a young boy named Brandon that's on a quest to finish illustrating a very special book. Along the way, he runs into Ashlyn, a fairy spirit and protector of the forest who decides to help him. I'm here to get things to make ink. I don't have a family, and we have food in Kells, so I wouldn't come here for it anyway. I was just a bit lost. You have no family? Uh, no. No, Mother. I'm alone, too. You gotta love the otherworldly look and movements she has, and the deep friendship she makes with Brandon. Now, I only started watching clips of the movie on YouTube since I heard about the nomination, but this character is seriously making me want to see the movie more, and that's why I can put her so high on this list. Besides, I thought it would be nice to feature an actual Irish creation, as opposed to the Americanized freeze-dried Irish that most of this list is made of. So you definitely need to see this movie when it becomes available to you. If you don't, I'll make the wolves get you. <laughs> no! And that's the top 11 Irish characters. Hope you had a bit of fun and have a happy holiday.